Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about the operation of functions. So what we have here are the notations for operation and functions. We have the addition notation, f of x plus g of x, f of x minus g of x for subtraction, f of x times g of x for multiplication, f of x divide g of x for division. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Let us have this example. So what we have here are two given functions, f of x and g of x, wherein your f of x is equal to x squared minus 3, while your g of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3x. Now, throughout this video, I will give you one example for each operation, wherein we will talk about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let's start with letter A. For letter A, we are given f of 2 plus g of 2. First thing you need to do is to evaluate first is function. So it will go like this. So we will copy it, this one. We have f of 2 plus g of 2. Or in what will happen here, guys, is this. Okay, listen carefully, yeah. First, since this one is f of 2, we will copy x squared minus 3. Now let's, let's enclose it using a bracket. And then plus your g of 2 or your g function which is 2x squared plus 3x. Enclose din natin sa bracket. Now, what you need to do here is, since we have here f of x, ang gagawin nyo dito, you will plug in 2 in the variable x here. And since this one is g of 2, you will plug in 2 in the, in the x variable here. So what will happen to become 2 square, 2 square minus 3 plus 2 times 2 square plus 3 times 2. So as you can see guys, what we have done here is that we're simply substituting the value of x or the inputs to the variable. So what we have now is that we have 2 square which is 4 minus 3 plus 2 square 2, 2 squares is 4 times 2, that is equal to 8, plus 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. Simplify this parenthesis, 4 minus 3 is 1, plus 8 plus 6, which is 14. So as you can see, the value of f of 2 plus g of 2 is equal to 1 plus 14, which is equal to 15. And this is the answer, guys, for number, for letter E. Now let's proceed with item letter B. For letter B, what we need to do here is subtraction. So what will happen is that we have f of 1 minus g of 3. Ganito siya yung sulat, guys. Is equal to here, your f of 1 is this. You can directly, ito parang ganito lang siya. Babagayin nyo lang yung symbol natin. So, gawin natin dito x squared minus 3. So, we become minus 2x squared plus 3x. We will plug in the value of x here in the f function. It will become 1 squared minus 3 minus 2 times your g of 3 is your input is 3 this is 3 square plus 3 times your x which is 3 okay simplify 1 square is 1 then minus 3 so we have here 1 minus 3 minus here 
for this value, 3 squared is 9. Again guys, 3 squared is 9 times 2, that is equal to 18. Then, 3 times 3 is 9, so this is plus 9. Simplify the parentheses. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Minus... 18 plus, 7, 18 plus 9 is 27. Okay, that's it. And to simplify this, your f of 1 minus g of 3 is equal to negative 2 minus 27, and that is negative 29. This is the answer, guys. Okay? So, you hope, guys, in our first example, using... Uh, the addition and subtraction, you already know how to perform these operations on functions. Now let's proceed with two more operations that we have here. Okay. So in this next example, we have the multiplication and division. So let's try. For f of 0, we have f of 0 times g of 2. So... To avoid the uh, to avoid this video to take much longer, we will try to fasten our solution. So we have x squared minus three times. So going lang parenthesis na lang times two x squared plus three x. No need for the use of this ano, this uh, tool dock. Your f of your input here in the function f is zero, so it will become this will be replaced by zero. Zero square minus three. Okay. Here, g of two, g of two, guys. Uh, your input is two. We have two times two square. We're replacing x by two plus three times two. Simplify. Zero square is zero. Minus 3, it will remain um, negative 3. So we have negative 3 in, on the first parenthesis. Here, 2 squared is 4 times 2, that is equal to 8, plus 2 times, or oh, 3 times 2 is 6. So we have 6. Simplify, we have negative 3. Then this 8 plus 6 is 14. So all we need to do is to multiply this, these two integers, to find the value of f of 0 times g of 2. So negative 3 times 14. So negative 3 times 10 is negative 30. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, meaning this is negative 42. And this is the answer for letter C. Now let's continue. Here, f of 2 divided by g of 0. So divide natin to. Um, Another way on how to write this is this one. f of 2 over g of 0. Okay? So what we need to do here, we have f of 2 over g of 0 is that we will copy your f of x here, x squared minus 3 over your g function 2x squared plus 3x. So what we need to do is to plug in the inputs here. It will become 2 squared minus 3 over for the g for the g function. This is 2 times 0 squared plus 3 times 0. Alright guys. Now, simplifying this, 2 squared is 4 minus 3. We have 0 squared is 0 squared is 0 times 2 is 0 plus 3 times 0 is 0 so as you can see what we have now is 1 over 0 1 because 4 minus 3 0 plus 0 is 0 so if you have this kind of value okay guys to simplify 1 over 0 this is considered as undefined because your denominator is 0. So the answer is undefined, not 1 over 0. Okay, guys? So yun nga, guys. I hope you learned something from this video on how to 
on how to identify or on how to perform operation and functions. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyen. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!